All right, in this video, I'm gonna go over the PayPal Loan Builder product. It goes up to where you see it here on the website. It goes up to 150,000 for repeat borrowers. For first-time borrowers, it's 100,000. A lot of clients have these a few years ago, up until about a year and a half ago. They were funding a lot of money every single quarter. I think they funded close to a billion dollars over a year. And then they really <clears throat> slowed down. I really haven't seen many clients have a PayPal low recently, unless they're a repeat borrower. First time borrowers, these like PayPal is really restricting a new clients at the moment. It goes from 5,000 to 100,000. It's worth trying it out and see if you qualify for the loan. The interest rates, for what I saw, it was typically 10 to 25% anywhere in that number. It's weekly payments. Weekly is a good option. There's very few monthly payment options out there. And then I like spend it sure it's usually between 10 and 20. And then look at my notes here. They do exclude Hawaii, Nevada, North Carolina, North Dakota, and South. For Facebook, bank rate review, your wallet review. So I pull some of the information from those. Um, looks, it looks like they have a 4.2 on bank rate. Merchant Mavericks is another site that looks at business loans. They have a four out of five there. And then on Trustpilot, they have a 4.3 review. The thing about PayPal is you can get the loan. If you get approved, you can get the money in your account the next day. And it says you have to be at least in business for nine months, annual revenue of at least 33,000 33, a year, uh, which is very low. They've done 919,000 loans in total, 19 billion in funding. So the uh, equity cues before we get started. It's a positive in application. I'm going to go over that here soon. Will it impact, you know, impact your credit score? No, it, it is a soft pool. It does require a personal guarantee. This term is going to be anywhere from 17 to 52 weeks. You're looking at 10 to 25% interest, just simple interest. Uh, so if you take out a hundred thousand dollar loan, say 10% and it's, you know, until the payback is 110,000. If you do a 52 week program, that's going to be 110 divided by 52, so maybe like 2000, yeah, $2,115 a week is what that payment would be for a hundred thousand dollars of 10%. Re options to repay, it's always weekly. You can make more payments if you want. Okay. Can I use my credit card? No, you can. It's going to come straight from the bank. Account. Okay. So those are all good questions. Let's go ahead and I'll show you how easy this application is. And we're just going to do, I'm just going to make up some of this information. They're so use business name, first name, last name. Phone number, business, primary low purpose. It really just depends on what your needs are. As you can see here, you have to delayed accounts receivables, leasehold improvements, marketing, opening a new location, yada, yada, payroll, inventory, all the like. We're just going to go with that one. How did you hear about us? You'd say through through me or as you did it on Google and before. And so now they have your information. And then you start typing away your address. Easy enough. Address again. Website. It's important to put your website there. It's always better for underwriting if you do have one. Business entity type. So if you're an S Corp, C Corp, you click corporation. If you're an LLC, just LLC, you're not incorporated. Here you go. Partnership, sole proprietorship, nonprofit. A lot of you guys are S Corps. 
if you have a uh, DBA name, you have a state of incorporation, total business revenue per year, uh, let's do a million for funds, even 05, 2020. Let's do that. Number of full time employees, business industry. This is important. You want to make sure that you have the right industry in here. So, obviously, they have pretty much everything you need, and then they do a sub industry. Okay, date of birth, social security number, federal tax ID, procedures of business that you own. So you put that in there, you control and manage the business. Yes. I agree to le receive legal disclosures electronically to any email address provided by me. And then you're just basically giving them the right to run a soft credit check on your um, personal and your business. Uh, as well. Okay. So pretty simple guys. Once you do that and you click submit and then they literally give you an answer in a couple of minutes. They'll show you the offer with the percentage of the interest. And then if you agree to it, you'll go ahead and go set up a time to make a phone call with PayPal loan builder. And then they'll ask you a little bit about your business, what you need the funds for in detail. And then typically that phone call usually takes about five minutes and then you're good to go. I honestly have never had anyone get declined after they take the phone call. Usually once you get the offer, you're good to go. And then yeah, pretty simple. You can get the funds in the next day. So.